I'm back, obviously. Um, had a good look at my thumb. Uh, while I was making my coffee, and yeah, the top half of it is completely red, so I did a re no wonder it hurt. I did a really good job at steam cleaning it. Right, so we we uh, high value. All right, well this is interesting. So pretty much same level as ETS now. The only difference is, is this has got the three. This has only got the two. That's got the two, and that one up there as well. So let's apply that. Let's see if we can start making a bit more cash. Oh, I don't. I honestly. Um. Don't even know if I'm logged into World of Trucks either when we start getting our own one. Gameplay. The region preset ship. So why don't I get... A dollar is an... Oh, I just don't get it. Why can't I have a dollar as an option? It's all on US, surely. Wouldn't be anything to do with that. Uh, so secondary names and maps, display currency, 24 o'clock. I've done it all on US. <sighs> I don't know. I'm sure it's got to have come out with dollars, the game. And I've seen people play this and have dollars. Why can't I have dollars? I mean, I do have a theory. Oh, let's turn the details down. Thank you. Random road events I'm not too worried about. Details are the pain in the backside one. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember if I did it or not. I'm just wondering if I copied the profile. No, that would make no sense. No, that would make no sense at all. Never mind. So, yeah, I have no clue why I don't have a dollar option. Pure and simple. Right, we're up to 74 grand. I'll tell you what, if we make 100, I'll be actually quite happy with that. I would be quite happy with that. It's just going to bring it a little bit closer in the money stakes. Under 100 grand, I think ETS is going to have the advantage for a while, but you never know. All right, let's quick job this. Where did we end up? In Tacoma, Olympia. No, no, Seattle. No, in between, in between, in between. There we go. Chaz or Woolworths to it. Woolworth. Right. Uh, Sala, Sa Salem, 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 anyway, just don't go there if you're a witch, I oh, know it's not the right state, but hey, just going with the name, um, right, so, either put an A for Abbotsford, or an S for Salem, Salem, whatever it is, of course I'm not able to pronounce it right while I'm streaming, as soon as I stop streaming I'll say it bang on, I guarantee you. So I'll give you a little bit of time. Just put the first letter, obviously, A or S. Otherwise, I'll choose. We're going to say, we've been there. Okay. We haven't been there, though. Two grand difference. Okay. Alright, that's enough time. You, you like your fish, don't you? Or you just like getting a kiwi to say it? Uh, what are we in, by the way? Why does this look like Romy of a Volvo? Because it is. Okay, there you go. 
Actually, I don't think I've ever driven a Volvo in, in ATS. Oh, that'll be interesting to find out what this is like. How many gears have we got? 18. Lopez Family Tube, welcome to the stream. How's things? Had a good week? Yep, 18 gears, so that back down to 7, and that one back down to 3. Right, we're off. Uh, cab view, and that cab view this time, so I don't need the GPS up. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad a week at all. Except for Tuesday, but I'll just pretend that didn't happen. We didn't have a Tuesday this week, in case you weren't aware of anyone. It was like February with the leap year. It was a leap week. Alright. Uh, truck coming there and an escalade there. Is it, is it an escalade? What is that? Oh, oh well, you stopped to say that you're going to let me out and then you do that. Now, I haven't given you the choice now. You know what? I'm going to let you out. I may be hiding the fact I just realised I've hit the fence with the trailer. Now, how many hours have you got onto this thing? A bit of a pain that your PC's acting up, though. Let's go further over this way and see if we can't get through. Oh! Yeah, look both ways before you go out. Stop looking at chat. Look at chat when, when you haven't got any intersections to go out of. There's a good idea. Now, I mentioned before, people might have missed uh, if you weren't here. What are you stopping for? You, we, oh, well, actually, I suppose the way it's been going today, it wouldn't put it past me to probably end up running into you. All right, can we go now? Can we? Huh? Huh? Can we? Huh? All right, we're off. Touch wood. Right. Yeah, we're off. Oh, now I had that. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. I think it was a while ago. I'm just trying to think. It would freeze on exit. Do you use mods? I think I fixed mine because I redid the load order of my mods. Now I'm guessing I don't fully remember, so but it's just a suggestion, especially if you use mods. If you use mods at all. Or you just play the standard game. Yeah, um, yeah so I said this earlier, but if you guys, anyone wasn't here, and uh, you knew that I was going to get the experimental version of ATS, the 1.41, I did. I loaded it up, and I was going to have a go on the multiplayer, well, find someone to have a go on the multiplayer with, but um, I loaded it up yesterday uh, to have a look at it. <clears throat> I assume because it's just... Adding the multiplayer, it shouldn't affect the solo player game. Oh, see, I was too busy to. Oh, stuff it. I'm gonna go. I'm not. I was too busy talking and, and trying to sort my chair out. I don't know why it's. I uh, hit the break, it moves. Why it's decided to do that. Oh, you're gonna let me. Alright, uh, alright. We all got a gentleman's agreement, I think. 
Every time it freezes up, oh, it sucks, mate. That's got to be really annoying. Right, we're off from the main road, the main drag to our location. I know it's not in the city, but hey. I really want to fix my chair. I don't know why, yeah, like I said, I don't know why it's decided that it will move every time I hit the brake now. But it just, it just is. Yeah, so I tried the experimental version. I started it up and, um, it declined a couple of the mods that I'm using in this, so I had to actually, um, well, I, I went back. Ah, uh, American. American truck simulator. I'm assuming you meant uh, Euro simulation. Uh, what are we, 60? What speed are we doing? We have a display for the speed. We don't. That's rather annoying. That was a good guess, right on 62 mile an hour. Yeah, so it ended, ended up just going back to the 1.4 version of ATS. Um, uh, uh, my GPS is uh, on the um, dash there. When I'm in cab, and if the cab's got a GPS, I use that one instead. Yeah, so it was a bit annoying. Um, that those mods won't work. It was the uh, Pro Mods Canada mods that didn't work in a couple of other ones. I think Realistic Rain one and something else. So I you know, just reloaded 1.4, which I could do. I was told you wouldn't, you couldn't go back to 1.4 if you use the experimental branch. But um, yeah, I did. Not a problem, obviously, because I'm playing it right now with all mods are working. Now, I should have voice GPS, actually, it should be enabled. Audio. Voice navigation. Oh, okay, it's not on on this one. Well, that's annoying. Definitely not the speed warning. That's also a pain. Uh, US, 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 US. Where's US? Oh, there, US. Okay, Doug. Oh, I might as well go with Doug. We've got Sky on the other one. We'll go Doug with this one. Um, I don't have sound fixes on, do I? So it's just that choice. Thanks for reminding me. I'd, when you said it, I realised that I hadn't actually heard the voice. And you can really tell that the difference between the um, standard voice and the Sky fix, uh, sound fixes one. Actually, is there a sound fixes for eight years? I've never looked. Yeah, it's louder, but I like the sound fixes one. It's just more realistic sounding. Which is fine if you're playing solo player. Obviously, when I'm streaming this, you guys can't hear it that well. Which is alright, you know where I'm going. You see where I'm going, you can see the GPS. You can put two to two together, I'm sure. I can't wait till we get our own truck. So I can adjust the... Um, the view so I can actually have the wind mirrors in my my sights. Yeah I've got I've got the lady um for ETS when I stream ETS I'm on the previous day <clears throat> my Friday it's my Saturday at the moment for those who don't know Saturday afternoon well almost evening actually it's twenty to five in the afternoon Oh, 
I'm enjoying my coffee. Actually went all, all out and got a bit bold and bought a decent coffee this time around. It tastes good, a lot better than the cheap variety. So, yeah. Anyway, any, anyone new watching, um, just let you know, if you aren't aware that I'm doing a competition between ETS and ATS, ETS2 and ATS, uh, I'm trying to see which game I can get to 100 garages owned, fully decked out with trucks and employees, and um, $100 million in the bank. Or in this case, euros, because for some reason, ATS won't give me the option to select dollars. It's not even there to select. I have no idea why. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, and there's some uh, little bit of rules in that I've got to stick to for the challenge. If you want to know what those rules are, you can type in to chat, exclamation mark, um, rule, R-U-L-E, I think it is. If it doesn't work, then it's rules with an S. But I'm pretty sure it's without the S. And that'll give you a bit of a... a, a, a um, well, that'll tell you what the rules are, basically. What I'm doing, what I can do, what I can't do. Like, for instance, uh, one of the rules I've set myself is I cannot use a loan to buy my first truck. On either game. I've got to pay it out. Well, pay cash for it, completely buy it out, no loan. After that I'm, I'm quite welcome to use any loan I, I like to to buy whatever I want, a truck or a garage. But for, for the first truck, no, got to use cash. 1.4 uh, um, is the latest one. One point four one at the moment is an experimental version that you've got to activate through Steam, get a code from SCS, which is on their forms, and then you're able to try out their multiplayer function that they've added into it, testing out and stuff like that. So, and if you aren't aware. Uh, any trucking fans out there, trucking some fans, um, yeah, SCS released in the forums rather quietly, they didn't tweet it or anything, um, <clears throat> that they're testing a, a multiplayer function for the game. And you can actually access it by um, going to the forum, finding the post, and it'll tell you how to activate it through Steam on the experimental beta, beta and they'll also give you a code there's a code there which you just paste in to unlock the the version 1.41 experimental and uh, yeah you can play multiplayer with your friends Stay yeah you can I, I find it pointless with the windows down I think they came out a little earlier than 1.4 though. Oh, I actually I reread that, yeah, the 1.41. You can roll the windows down and even get out. No, that, that came in a lot earlier. They came in um, around 1.37, 1.38. The windows first, I think, that getting out of the truck at your garage came a little later. The 1.41 is just purely the um, multiplayer test. Everything else is the same as far as solo plays go. But you're just able to um, play multiplayer with your friends. And you can have up to eight friends on the multiplayer server. It's experimental. At the moment, there's been a couple of updates to it. Well, I had it before I got into it. There was a couple of updates. Um, <clears throat> so there's some syncing issues and stuff like that. But for the most part, you can play um, play it. And you can it's called convoy mode, I believe. 
Um, you've got to make sure that you and your friends have the same DLCs as well to do with uh, maps and cargo DLCs. If any of your friends is missing uh, DLC, uh, they won't be able to join. But what you can do is you can get the person with the least amount of DLCs to be the host, and then you can join them. Uh, when you go, when you go and get yourself a, a delivery, your friends will also get the option to take the same delivery to the same location. There's traffic, unlike uh, Truckers MP. And yeah. We got the CB radio. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Oh. This is, a, I really don't want to put my, um, my brakes down. Am I in reverse? Yeah, it says R2 for reverse. Because I'm worried the chair will fly back. That's why I ended up hitting them. Yeah, so it's, it's. The same as like Truckers MP when you press X to talk to people over the CB if you want to, but it's a lot more realistic sounding. A lot more realistic sounding. So, yeah. Like I said, I reckon 95% chance of it being implemented into the games. It's only on ATS, you can't get it on ETS2. I think they did that, it's just the same reason why they didn't announce it over Twitch and just slipped it into their forums. It's because they don't want too many people on it, testing it, to overloading it. Uh, and I suppose with the, there's definitely a lot less people that play ATS than there is with ETS too. So which is the uh, reason why I think they just released it only on ATS. But unfortunately, because I'm streaming this, I can't try it out. Right pain. And you can't use mods on it. You can if you're on there by yourself. If you're playing the multiplayer by yourself, you can enable mods. But once you um, change over, well, once you start playing with other people, you, uh, you can't use any mods. Well, hopefully they can change that. Like you can add pro mods or something. Maybe it's client based, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I've got a wheel and a shifter. So, um, have you tried with your game, with the freezing, have you tried uh, verifying your files with Steam? I assume you got it through Steam. Because that might, that might do it, you never know. Alright, which way? Let me guess to the right, because I've got the edge to go left this time. Maybe for you, mate, because, yeah, you didn't feel the hit of the car when I crashed into it. So, I'm sure, it was a nice, nice drive for you. Not a nice drive for my bank account, that's for sure. <laughs> mm. Geez, that coffee was good. There we go. Got the easy version this time. I've got it set to random parking, so I get a mixture of easy and hard. It just makes it easier. Well, I normally do it anyway. I like it that way. But uh, as far as the competition between the two games go, I think that's one of the best ways to do it anyway. Having it random. Right, show results now. Come on. I'm impatient. Well, that's another delivery down with 79. What have we got? About 40 minutes of the stream left to try and at least get that up to 100,000. Then I'll only be about 20,000 behind ETSs. So let's get a job. I ain't going to do it. Not going anywhere. It's sitting around. Uh, the, uh, we went to. Where'd we go to? Was it this one?
No, it wasn't there. Long view. No, it wasn't the story, was it? It wasn't Salem we went there, it wasn't Newport. Where did we just go to? It wasn't Kino, it wasn't there. It wasn't there, definitely. Uh no, because I've driven through there. It wasn't there. It must no Vancouver wasn't there either. Where did I just go to? I must have gone somewhere I've been before. It wasn't Olympia? Longview, Astoria, Portland. Oh dear, I've actually totally forgotten. Ah. Alright, well we'll start off in Seattle because I've absolutely forgotten where we just went to. Yeah, I've just got to alt-tab out for a second. The sound will disappear. And, um... Oh, I've got to love my G-Hub. I'm going to bring that up. See, G-Hub, what it generally does to me is it increases my DPI without me knowing about it. And what it's done now is it, it's now started today going the opposite way, reducing my DPI. Now, I came out of here for some reason. And what was that reason? Okay. All right, that's fine. So, yeah, I don't know why it does that, but it's, yeah, today it's just decided instead of increasing my DPI on my mouse, it's going to reduce my DPI. Right. <clears throat> We've got two choices here. We have this one here to Kennewick, and we have this one to Mirror. So, just put either a K or the M into chat. If you want me to go to either one of those, I'll give you a little bit of time with chat delay to be able to put that in. If no one replies, I'll just choose myself. So we've got one that's seven and a half grand, and we've got one that's four grand. Uh, have we been here? We have been here. I don't think we've been here, British Columbia. So I'll give it about another 10 seconds. And if no one puts anything in... M. Oh, well, he just made it. <laughs> I was going to choose that one anyway. They hadn't been there, and it's a good amount. What are we in? What are we in? A truck. Yep, good. Glad we've established that. <laughs> no, no, it looked like a Peterbilt to me, actually. What are we? Freightliner. Okay, another one I've never been in, so, which is really good. Time to get the job done. Normally I'm just straight into me Kenworths and that's it. So I'm actually glad I'm getting a bit of a um, chance to check these. Oh, isn't this not a microwave? Only in America. <laughs> that's a fantastic idea. They should all have microwaves, actually. This is a nice looking truck. Oh, before we start off, let's see what gear selections we've got here. That's nine, that's seven. That's 12, that's 11. Uh, now, which one did I just push? That's 5. That's 7. Okay, so we've got 12 gears. Let's go. Uh, this time out of cab, so let me bring up those mirrors. The mini mirrors. right if you insist <laughs> yeah good to be back in old Seattle <laughs> all right and we're off I'll change into bumper view when we get on um, uh, highway, freeway, whatever you call it over in America. 
freeway interstate. I assume the interstate is the one that goes from one state to the other, and the freeway is... ...in the city? Stay left, then turn left. So there's an interstate out, similar thing outside the... I don't know. We just call them highways here. Turn left. Well, occasionally we'll call them freeway as well because American influence through all the TV shows. Motorway. Motorway. What did I call it? I did call it a motorway, didn't I? It's a motorway. Anyway, that's in the cities. I thought you had freeways as well. Yeah, we call them motorways and highways. That's what we call them. I said highways and stuff, but no, they're mo mainly called motor uh, motorway. Going, to, uh, going on the motorway to town. Which is this, basically. Similar to this. On your way to town, but outside, I don't know what we call them. Main road. Stay right and then exit right. Exit right. Come on. All clear. Yep. Nice. One more, all clear, good, fantastic. West Seattle Bridge. Oh, it's down to 50. Slow down, slow down. We had enough fines for one day. You way and inside's typically the same thing. Yeah. Well, I think it's all the same thing. It's a place where you can go fast with multiple lanes to get to where you want to go. Why have different names for it? Maybe bias, but I think motorway's the best one because it's the way your motor is meant to go. <laughs> to get to where you want to go. That makes sense. Really? Actually, I was asking before, and now I applied. I don't know if anyone was here, to be honest, Dave, but you might know. Because I generally know Seattle mainly because of the Sonics, but are they still in the NBA? If you follow basketball? And I've also the um, big tower thing, the, the UFO sitting on top of uh, the foundation. Okay, so the thunder now. Yeah, that's a, see, that's a concept. I, um, I just can't get my head around. When it comes to your sports, and you have these franchises, and they just chop and change cities. I mean, technically, I think they are franchises here, but... They don't sort of move. The 
they run out of money, then they just disappear. They don't move. <laughs> don't become, change their name or anything like that. Space Needle, yeah, that's it. And generally, especially with the rugby, um, I'm not too sure about the cricket. I don't think cricket's, well, I suppose it would be, they are professionals now. But with the rugby, um, professional teams, the majority of the team will be made up by people that live in the area. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Thank you. Oh, fine, I'll pull in for a blooming weight. Gee, I wonder if I'm overweight. The truck, that is.